What if I told you that in the last decade we have confirmed three objects? No, messengers have entered our solar system from interstellar space. Did you know that astronomers estimate that over 7,000 7, such objects might be passing through our solar system right now, completely unseen, but somewhere beyond the silent veil of our solar system, something extraordinary has been uncovered. Something so strange that NASA scientists tried to contain it before the world could see. The truth about three, I divided by Atlas. Uh, the mysterious interstellar visitor, once thought to be a harmless chunk of cosmic debris, is finally coming to light. And what it reveals about the universe and about us could change everything we thought we knew about life beyond Earth. Let's go back to where this all began. The discovery that set the scientific world on fire. It was a quiet night at the Mount Aya Observatory in Hawaii when astronomers noticed a faint, slow-moving light cutting across the blackness. At first, they thought it was a comet, another icy traveler passing harmlessly through our solar system, but within days, things didn't add up. Its trajectory, its brightness, its speed, all were off the charts, unlike anything NASA had seen before. They called it three, I divided by Atlas. The third officially confirmed interstellar object ever detected entering our solar system. The first was Oumuamua in 2017, the second Borisov in 2019, but this one was different. It wasn't just reflecting sunlight, it was glowing faintly at first, then more intensely. In pulses, a green light measured and rhythmic, almost like a heartbeat, for months, NASA, the European Space Agency, and Harvard's astrophysics department observed it closely, and then something no one expected. A pattern emerged. The light wasn't random. It repeated in intervals precisely every 16 hours, almost as if it were transmitting a signal. Let's analyze what that means. A 16-hour pulse is too slow to be a natural pulsar, which spins multiple times a second. It's too rhythmic to be a random geologic emission. This regularity is the hallmark of artificiality. It's a beacon, a clock, or a heartbeat. And uh, it forced scientists to confront an uncomfortable possibility. This wasn't just debris, it was a machine. When word of this leaked, NASA went silent. Public statements were vague, filled with phrases like natural resonance and photometric anomaly. But behind the scenes, the truth was very different. According to sources familiar with the Deep Space Network's internal logs, a private transmission between two research divisions hinted that 3i divided by Atlas had emitted a burst of energy that did not match any known natural source. A burst that appeared for a fraction of a second to respond to a calibration ping sent by one of NASA's tracking satellites. Imagine that, a rock from another star system responding. Uh, NASA's public silence only deepened the intrigue. Harvard astrophysicist doctor Avi Loeb, who previously argued that Oumuamua could have been an alien probe, hinted in an interview that 3i divided by Atlas was something worth re-examining. He added, we cannot dismiss the possibility that nature has help in shaping this object. And that's when something strange happened. The data vanished. Several observation logs, accessible just weeks before, were suddenly removed from public servers. The ATLAS project's light curve database went offline for maintenance. Internal NASA researchers who spoke anonymously said the reason was data contamination, but many believe the truth was more unsettling. The readings from 3i divided by Atlas didn't fit any model of natural physics. So what exactly did they find? Based on leaked infrared readings from the James Webb Space Telescope, the object appeared to release bursts of hydrogen and oxygen. Um, the same elements that when combined uh, form water. But here's the mystery. It wasn't sublimation, the process by which ice turns to vapor. The gas emissions 
were patterned, clustered, almost deliberate. One scientist called it controlled venting. Another whisper term used in private channels was propulsion-like. This distinction is critical. Sublimation, the natural outgassing of a comet, is messy and continuous. It acts like a slow, unpredictable rocket. But controlled venting of hydrogen and oxygen, that is, by definition, a chemical rocket engine. It's the most basic, efficient propulsion system we know. To see it on an interstellar rock is like finding a combustion engine inside a volcano. It simply doesn't belong. This wasn't just like propulsion, it was propulsion. Now, imagine sitting in a dark room watching a candle flicker and realizing the flicker isn't random, but communicating in Morse code. That's what this discovery felt like. And then it got darker, both literally and figuratively, because after months of tracking, 3i divided by Atlas suddenly went dark. No glow, no heat signature, nothing. Telescopes pointed at its coordinates found only silence. NASA quietly issued a statement calling it a loss of visual contact due to trajectory drift. But several independent astronomers, including teams from Chile and Japan, disputed that their instruments, they said, were detecting something else. A low-frequency electromagnetic hum, faint but constant, emanating from the exact region where 3 I divided by Atlas should have been. A hum invisible to the human ear, but eerily steady. If this sounds like science fiction, remember, in 1977, a radio telescope at Ohio State University picked up a narrowband signal from deep space, the famous WOW signal. Uh, it lasted just 72 seconds. Decades later, we still don't know what it was. 3i divided by Atlas, however, maybe something even stranger. Not a one-time signal, but an ongoing presence that seems to defy the physics of interstellar debris. So what is NASA hiding? Inside leaked memos, scientists refer to a non-gravitational acceleration event. That's a polite way of saying the object changed direction without any visible cause. No collision, no outgassing thrust, nothing we can explain. This is perhaps the most profound and disturbing piece of evidence. A non-gravitational acceleration event is physics speak for it moved on its own. Think of it this way. Everything in space follows the elegant math of gravity. We can predict where Jupiter will be in 100 years. But this object, 3, I divided by Atlas, defied that math. Uh, the same anomaly was observed with Oumuamua, which mysteriously sped up after passing the Sunday, but 3i divided by Atlas did something more complex. It adjusted its trajectory before reaching perihelion, as if anticipating the sun's pull and correcting course. One researcher compared it to a spacecraft performing a gravitational assist maneuver. Only this. This was supposed to be a rock. And now that rock has vanished, when you speak to astronomers off record, their tone changes. They stop using words like comet or asteroid and start whispering terms like artifact and construct. A few even use a word that hasn't been spoken seriously in NASA halls for decades, probe. But if that's true, whose probe is it? To understand this, we need to think about cosmic time differently. 3i divided by Atlas could be billions of years old launched long before our species learned to write, drifting through the void until gravity pulled it briefly into our cosmic neighborhood. To us, it's a visitor. But to whoever sent it, if anyone did, it might be an ancient message finally reaching its destination. You see, the universe communicates in patience. Light from distant stars takes millions of years to reach us. Radio waves stretch, distort, fade. But physical objects, messengers, can carry information that lasts. Perhaps 3, I divided by Atlas, isn't just a rock. Perhaps it's a bottle floating in the interstellar sea, carrying a message we don't yet know how to read. 
NASA's James Webb Telescope team has since reanalyzed archived infrared data trying to detect any sign of reflective metallic compounds, titanium, silicon, or structured alloys. What they found was odd, a spectral signature that matches certain high-strength composites, um, materials that don't naturally occur in interstellar space. Why is this the smoking gun? Natural space debris is made of rock, ice, and simple metals. High-strength composites, materials like carbon fiber or engineered alloys, are created to withstand extreme stress, like the pressure of launch or the friction of atmospheric entry. They are manufactured. Finding their signature on three, I divided by Atlas, is the astronomical equivalent of finding a stainless steel bolt on Mars. Instrument noise is the last refuge of a scientist facing a paradigm-shifting, terrifying truth. Someone else is building things. And yet there it was, buried in the light data like a fingerprint. The official explanation, instrument noise. But think about it. If 3, I divided by Atlas, is indeed an artificial object, it would mean that somewhere out there, beyond the reach of our telescopes, exists a civilization that mastered the art of sending technology across the stars. A civilization that doesn't just observe the universe, you know, but participates in it. Many of you remember the golden era of discovery as the Apollo missions, Voyager's golden record, the first pictures from Hubble. Back then, every signal from space filled us with hope. But as our instruments grew stronger, our discoveries became stranger. We realized the universe wasn't empty. It's alive with movement, energy, and mystery. And now we stand at another threshold. Uh, the fear surrounding three I divided by Atlas isn't that it might be alien, it's that it might prove we're not alone. Because once we confirm that, everything changes. Religion, science, philosophy, even our sense of purpose as a species. Uh, the silence we thought was cosmic emptiness may in fact be a dialogue one, we were never meant to hear this early. NASA knows this. That's why they've been careful, even cautious, about what they reveal. As of last week, internal communications show that at least three telescopes, including the Hubble, Webb, and the Atacama Array, have been quietly redirected to scan the coordinates where three I divided by Atlas vanished. Meanwhile, ground-based radio arrays have detected faint pulses matching the object's previous light rhythm, but at a low frequency, almost like a heartbeat slowing down. If it truly is a signal, it's not random, it's structured, consistent, and intelligent. But what if it's not a transmission at all? What if it's a warning? Could 3i divided by Atlas have gone dark because something or someone shut it down? Or did it deactivate itself after completing a mission? we don't yet know. But the question lingers, what comes next? Every time humanity peers deeper into the cosmos, we uncover a truth both terrifying and beautiful, that we are part of something far larger, far older, and far more mysterious than we can comprehend. So what is the true lesson here? The lesson of three, I divided by Atlas, isn't just about what might be out there, it's about in here. It's a lesson in humility. We build our complex models of the universe, we write our laws of physics, and we sit back confident that we know how the cosmos works. And then a whisper from the dark, a green pulse, an impossible turn, a spectral signature that shouldn't exist, shows us that we are not the center of the story. We are perhaps just now turning the first page. The universe is not silent. We have only just begun to learn how to listen. What do you believe? Is 3i divided by Atlas just an oddly shaped rock, a trick of physics and light? Or is it something greater? A cosmic message from an ancient intelligence waiting for us to listen? Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. And if you want to keep exploring these profound mysteries with us, please subscribe to the channel. Because someday soon, when we finally decode that silence, when we finally hear what the stars have been trying to tell us, 
we may realize that we were never alone. We were simply waiting for the universe to whisper 